Listen, when you have to cover a long event, you do not want to carry a bunch of batteries. The quick tip of the week directly addresses that. Stay tuned. Welcome to Flash Film Academy. My name is Ty Turner. I'm a creative director here at Flash Film Media and a former Army combat photographer. And if this is your first time watching one of our videos, this channel is designed to help people like yourself turn your passion into profit. We like to use the term contentpreneurs. So make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell so that you can be notified on our latest videos and let's get to it. What's going on, contentpreneurs? I want to share a simple tip. This is for my event photographers, wedding photographers, event photographers. Listen, if you're getting into this game and you got a nice camera, you got a nice flash, what you need to purchase next is a battery pack. Say it with me, battery pack. If you're using freaking AA batteries in the middle of a wedding and you're trying to load your gun in the middle of a freaking shootout, you're going to die. You're going to die. Having a battery pack is the equivalent of having a clip for your gun. You don't want to sit there and be loading one bullet at a time. You're not going to make it. You want to be like, pop, click, clack, and come back. That's, that's an army term, but don't worry about it. You don't need to know all that. What you need to know is if you're using a flash, you need a battery pack. Four batteries won't cut it. Four batteries will maybe last you an hour. Maybe if you're in a situation where you're popping flashes off, you need a battery pack. Now, depending on the type of flash you have will determine what type of battery pack you have. You may have a lower end flash that don't support a battery pack. Get rid of it. I will post a link in the description to a flash that we've used um, from a company that makes them for really every brand and then they make battery packs. I like this neutral company simply because if I decide to go from Sony back to Canon, back to Nikon, whatever, I can go buy a flash from them and this battery pack is going to work. Now, the battery pack that I've used, I love it because I've never took it below 75% and I've shot on it for days at a time. And the recycle times are ridiculous. So really quickly, what is recycle time for those who are super new? Recycle time is how long it takes for your flash to get ready to flash again. Poof. I'm ready. So you need to know that with a battery pack, your recycle times are going to be faster because it can pull energy faster from that battery pack compared to a double A battery, which can only give you what it gives you. That battery pack will be designed to kick some power out so that you can say pop, 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 pop pop, whereas your AA batteries are going to be like, poof, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, poof, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up, poof. So that's how I explain it. You, you, you get it. But the point is invest in a battery pack. If you plan on doing event photography, wedding photography, any type of photography where you need to be there live and you need to shoot a lot of images, you can even use it for portrait photography. If you're doing portrait photography and you want a lot of flashes, you don't want to keep buying batteries, man, just buy a battery pack. I'm Listen, you, you're not going to find that in the book either. I'm telling you that because I learned that the hard way after spending hundreds of dollars on batteries. Rechargeable batteries suck. Buy a battery pack. All right, guys, if you learned anything today, hit that like button. Subscribe to us. Follow us. Um, if you got any suggestions, any battery packs you like in particular, post them down in the comments. Let's let's talk about it. Let's share these things. How can we get better if you hold on to information? I'm not holding on to information. All right. So stay tuned. Um, we're going to try to post a um, new video every Monday, a quick tip at least every Monday. And uh, make sure you guys follow me and stay tuned.